All you need to do is each and every week come out, march, show, the, show these people you are not going to take austerity anymore. But there's three things here that we all have in common, I think. And the first is that we're all from different groups, but we've got to get our idea around three things. What needs to happen first is we need to get rid of the government in Ireland. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We also need bankers charged and jailed. Can we all agree on that? We need also our top civil servants. They're the ones that have been advising the government for the last God knows how long on state pensions, huge salaries. They need to be cleaned out as well. They definitely have to go. And the bondholders, we have to stop paying them bloody money. Dundalk Says No is a part of a network of campaigns all around the country. Now these are non-political party, non-electoral campaigns. We're about getting people to realise that they have the brains themselves and they have to start thinking and educating themselves. Because irrespective of what faces get into Dole Heron, if the people aren't educated and, and thinking for themselves, they will be duped every time. And that's one of the problems with our country at the moment, I think most of us can agree with. You hear it in Ireland, we're kicking the can down the road. And the Kenny, Bill Mark, they said the, the, the relief they got on the loans, I think they put it down the road somewhere, we're going to get pay it back over 40 years. I look at my grandchildren and I'm sick that happened. That my grandchildren and maybe their children are still going to be paying back that debt. wonder about the Irish people. You talk to an Irish person and they say the first thing, if anyone attacks their family, they will be straight there to defend their family. The Irish government have been attacking your children, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, uncles. How long are we as allowed the government to attack your family? But Eamon Sherlock was 250 days on his land fighting eviction and many people around this country drove down to Limerick to stand with the man. He is one of the one of the decent members of this country that are out there standing up eight and every week. You have people like David O'Flynn from Bally Hay. You have many other groups, Ratout says no, Tullet, Skibbereen, Galway, now Dundalk. Dublin and there's a few stories that they appeared in the media over the last couple of weeks. One was leaked by Davies. Not an institution you can have any faith in because that's one of the institutions that told us our banks were in good shape there a few years ago. But Davies tried to suggest that there's a lot of people choosing not to pay. And they're putting out that story there. And there's a reason they're putting out that story. In fairness, there is good journalists to come out and challenge that. David McWilliams is one of them. He said there's no evidence to suggest that at all. But what that's been put out there for is when Finbar makes the call to Alan or anybody else and says, listen, we have a person being evicted. They want a little bit of doubt in your mind. They want doubt in your mind that if you're going over to that house, this is not a young family that's losing the house. This is a person, maybe, that's choosing not to pay. Now I'm telling you, that's propaganda. That is not the case. There is absolutely no research, no evidence to show that's the case. So don't allow, don't pay any attention to the institutions that's coming along with the government, putting on a PR campaign to try to divide this group. This group should stick together. Anybody, anybody that's being evicted deserves air support. Thank you. Notice this guy up here, never noticed him before, Wolf Tone. And I think maybe, if you don't want to make a pledge to any of us or to any groups or anything, make a pledge to the maid of Erin that you're going to keep on coming out here and make some change. And a big clap for everybody! Yeah. Yeah.
Carlos. Marcus Howard, test one, two, three.